Hey everybody, we're back with Pat McGrew talking about Drupa and HP Pagewide Press and all of the massive amount of projects and finishing and partnership that's going to be go, going on during Drupa in Hole 17, hashtag PWP partners, two Ps. But let's rewind for one second because HP is also going to really have a focus on two areas of technology as far as I understand. HDNA, which we have spoken about before, and priming, which I think I understand, but I'm not really sure. So take it away, Pat McGrath. Okay, so in our booth this time, you know, I told you in earlier videos that we're bringing two presses. We're bringing the T490 HD press and the T230 press. T490 HD press is our HDNA press, high definition nozzle architecture. That's the HDNA. What that means is that we've doubled the number of nozzles in the print head. And that second set of nozzles that we've now put on the head are half the size of the previous nozzles. So that we're going to be squirting droplets of two different sizes. What that allows us to do is to get finer facial tones. And when you look at big, broad expanses of skies and big blocks of color that on earlier generations might have had a little bit of noise in them when you printed because of the way the ink was laying down, now we'll be able to actually make those really, really smooth transitions because of the dual drop weight. So the T490 HD is going to be is enabled with, the, with that technology. And one of the things we're hoping people will do is not only come by and take a look at what we're printing, because we're going to be printing in two modes on that press. We're going to be printing in quality mode, which is where you're going to see some amazing color, truly offset substitutable for most applications. Really, that's a big statement, Pat McGrew. Star Wars posters, right? The Star Wars brand owners don't just give these things away lightly and say, go ye and print. But we'll be printing, right? we'll be printing Star Wars. Posters. May so the HDNA be with you. Exactly. And that, that is absolutely true. And so we'll be printing a, a lot of a range of things from books, Perry Match Magazine. Um, we'll be printing all sorts of interesting things. that These are customer jobs that we run through HDNA and, and the brand owners have looked at and said, yes, you may use them for Drupa. Now, the other thing the press is capable of is if it's not printing in super high quality mode, it's capable of going a whole lot faster because that same technology, that same double amount of, of droplets coming down means that we could also use that to go faster instead of going high quality. So we'll be printing at 1,000 feet per minute one with our what we call performance mode jobs. And in many cases, we're going to print jobs in both the quality and performance mode and sheet them out so you can see the comparison between the two. In our technology area, we'll have some of our uh, product marketing elves will be over there manning that area, and they'll have all sorts of interesting comparison samples that you can take a look at. The difference between quality and performance on the same job, they'll have things that were done with our new priming solution, which is another thing we want to talk about. They'll show the difference between uh, printing with bonding agent and without bonding agent, which is another solution that we have. So our technology area is really designed to give you the opportunity to talk to the guys who can really explain how all this technology works. Remember, HP is an engineering company. Right. And this is all about the engineering to make these presses as offset substitutable as they can possibly be. Now, can I ask a, a question? Um, uh, can, if you don't have the HDNA technology, but you have one of your presses, can you add that in? Can. This is okay. so every one of our presses from the day it's built is built to be upgradable, right? All of our full color presses are, are built to be upgradable. And so in, if you are the team at O'Neill Data Systems out in Los Angeles, uh, the pre they were the very first owners of, a, of an HP page wide press, right? They got the very first one. And that press 
it has been constantly upgraded so that the team there will tell you that it's like they have a brand new press all the time. <laughs> and they're scheduled to be upgraded to HDNA, right? So over the course of the next year, I think they've got they've got more than 10 presses. I can't remember how many they have now. But they'll all, they'll upgrade those presses to HDNA. So everybody who currently has one of the T400s or the T200s, they'll be able to upgrade those. And that's one of the real value propositions of this this architecture that we've built for the presses. All right, can I ask you a crazy question? <laughs> sure. um, okay, so I know it's not comparable, but this is the only way I can make the analogy. So like on my desktop printer, if I don't wanna really print on four color, I can decide to only use the black or something so I'm not wasting the ink. Now, you were saying there was different modes on the HD architecture, on the HD nozzles. Is that kind of like the same situation where you can, can you adjust that so you're not having to use all the ink? It, it's almost the same. It's a draft versus quality mode, you might say. So in performance mode on an HDNA press, you get quality that is comparable to the current generation, the generation one presses today. So your performance mode on a T490 is sort of equivalent to the uh, current mode on a T410. The quality mode is where you bump up the use of the nozzles and that's what gets you the really high quality. So you don't have to use it unless you want to. And then that extra ink doesn't come out. Gain additional capacity with the exact same footprint. So imagine you're a printer and you're, you're starting to run out of capacity and you're thinking, gee, do I have to buy another press? Well, to be honest, unless you absolutely need the quality mode, you could upgrade to HDNA and just go faster and add capacity to your current print environment. Very cool. So there's, there's always like little hidden gems if you talk to somebody, which is why I would encourage everybody to go talk to somebody about uh, this HDNA technology. I, I mean, I'm a little biased because I've seen it a few times already. And I can, I mean, I've seen the samples. I can see the difference. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a difference. It doesn't mean that the other stuff is not good. There's just different applications. The higher, uh, the, the HDNA technology kind of puts you more in, dare I say, the marketing advertising realm with color as opposed to just publica pub publishing uh, maybe uh, or bills and statements and things like that that aren't so, um, I don't wanna say not quality critical, but there's a level that is acceptable. Yeah, there's a difference. And I think one of the things we're finding with HDNA is that the brand owners are taking a look at it and going, you know, um, th this actually meets our criteria for an awful lot of the things that we do. Now, it, it's never going to be a complete replacement for offset for most of the big brands, but for a significant amount of the work that they do, the ability to decide to bring things over to digital and to inkjet, I think, gives them more flexibility. Right. So if they do a direct mail campaign and make sure that they're getting the, the color schemes that they want to go along with that campaign. So it more or less matches what they're doing on billboards and what they're doing and all the other media and channels that they're using. This is a solution that we think really does tell the right story. And again, we're so thrilled that, that the Star Wars team is allowing us to, to print their, their assets because that's not something they let just anybody do. No, and definitely not. Really excited about. And uh, before we move on to the next technology, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, at, at the last JetCom, I had the honor of speaking to everybody. And one of the things that uh, we talked about was a survey that I sent out to print customers regarding the fact that most, only 7% of them really cared about color matching. And that was because they were working for those brands that it's critical. But where there is a, a way to, bring over the profiles and the, the color uh, matching to the, to the uh, uh, level that it, it is in that acceptable realm, the application of inkjet way overpowers the staticness of offset. And that is something to look at for everybody. It, it, if you look at it, it gives you a range of flexibility that a static offset press can't really give you. No, and there's so no way. A lot of, if, if you want to do a lot of segmentation, 
if you want to do a lot of A, B, maybe not just A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G testing, if, if you want to really take on the concept of flexibility head on, then a high speed press that can give you the FOCRA 39 range of colors, that this is what you want. And yeah. we were profiling the papers for, for the press to use at Drupa, right? 51 media, no waiting. Um, we profiled to FOCRA 39 perceptual so that we could get the best gamut we possibly could. And when you look at the papers that we have available to us today, you know, if, if you pick the right paper and you profile the press and the paper, you can hit what you need. Yeah. No, no question. When you, you, you talk to people like Mary Schilling, who works with a lot of, of the HP customers, uh, she'll tell you that, you know, if, if you spend the time to profile the paper in the press, then brand owners will not give you any grief at all. No, and um, I actually saw some of your HDNA samples at Pitney Bowes at their technology summit just last week. I mean, they look fantastic. The grays were gradating out. I mean, honestly, you know how picky I am. And I was like, look at this. This is so cool. We're, we're really excited by the, the range that it gives us. It, it's a it's a new day. I mean, it really, if I go back, you know, to 10 years when I first started dabbling in inkjet to what we can do now, you know, we used to make excuses for inkjet color and now we can be proud of it. Yeah. It, I mean, um, I've only go back 10 months and I've seen the, the improvement of it. So there's probably no conversation uh, that leads up to HDNA that can't start with priming, right? That That's a big uh, right. kind of topic in the community. So priming is going to be one of those things that offset printers will immediately recognize because many of them already prime media and, and prime the papers that they use to print on their presses. It's a really common activity in, in the offset world. It is a, a, almost a new concept. I mean, it, the concept's been around for four or five years in the inkjet world, but there weren't really many organizations that were taking advantage of the what happens when you prime media. And so with HP, they began the priming program in support of printing packaging liners and, and printing for corrugated liners. And we're going to talk about that in another video. But the work that came out of that, it became clear that you could use the same things that we were building to support that program to support the publishing and the, the direct mail and commercial programs by opening up the option to prime offset coded stock. Now, this is sort of a holy grail for us because offset coded stocks are extremely common in the offset industry. And we very often sell our presses into offset web operations that are never going to get rid of their offset web presses. They're going to keep them because they've got a business that, that, that those presses address but they also see the value of these high-speed inkjet presses to take some of the short run work, the reprint work off of those big web presses, let them do what they're good at, bring them over to the, the digital presses, but they want to use the same paper. And if they're using a coded stock on that offset web press, we didn't really have a great solution, but with priming we do. And so the, the story that we're bringing to Drupa, and we'll actually be demonstrating it on the T230, we don't have it on the T490 for this show, but it's available, right? Uh, Quad uses it. Um, you know, our, our friends at Quad, are, are they were one of the, the early adopters of our wide priming solution. But for, the, um, for, for Drupa, we're bringing it bolted onto our T230 so we can show it. For four days, we'll be doing nothing but priming all day long. On really? The Wait, how do you do, how does it, how do you prime it? So, Basically, there is a priming unit that sits, that, that's a freestanding unit that's actually bolted on in line. So the paper comes out of the unwind, it goes through the priming uh, device, which has the fluid and the rollers, and it, it rolls it on. Basically, priming is a, it's a roll-on, full-width event on both sides of the page. And then it'll come out of there dry, and then it'll go directly into the press for printing, and then it'll come out on the other end on the roll. We'll take those rolls and we'll sheet them on the Hunkler Pop 6 there in the booth live. And we'll do that 
with uh, eight different media, eight different kinds of paper across those days and using, demonstrating how we can work with all these different kinds of, of offset coded stocks. And if that's what your stock in trade is, no pun meant, uh, what you can do is say, okay, I use this for offset. Now I can also use it for my digital. That way my client gets the same paper yeah. no matter where I print it, right? And that's really Amazing. the value. Yeah, that... Right? It won't be the solution that everybody wants. It's not necessary for a lot of organizations. Many organizations choose to adopt the good inkjet papers that are out in the market. Some organizations are pure digital and don't have to compare themselves to offset. But if you've got offset coded stock, this is your gateway. Amazing. So what are we going to be speaking about next? Next, we're going to talk packaging. Yeah, oh, very topical Drupa. Drupa's, the Drupa accounts are going crazy about packaging. So um, in case I didn't mention it, make sure you're following Pat, oh, Pat McGrew, at Pat McGrew on Twitter, at Print Media Center on Twitter, hashtag PWP Partners, two Ps, PWP Partners. And also, I forgot to mention, I have a handy dandy Twitter list of all the HP partners on my account. So everybody go follow that and we'll be right back with our next video.